Guys, how you doing? Back in the wood shop today. So this is what we're going to be doing today. You can see I have the safety valve here on my new pressure pot. I'll explain everything that I did to this to get it to this point right now, um, which really wasn't that much. So what I need to do is I got to take this out. I know people are saying, why are you taking out a safety valve? Um, basically, I'm taking out the safety valve because I don't want it to accidentally pop. You know, it gets old as it gets. I don't want to deal with it. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to be replacing it with a cap. Just the plug. Quarter inch MPT plug. That's it. And what that's going to do is I'll be able to get a good uh, seal on it. Don't have to worry about it. You know, I would have had to take it out to goop it up anyway or to, you know, something to make sure that it was airtight. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace it so that way I don't have to do it again in the future. So I'll bring you along. <laughs> So basically what we're going to do, we're going to put that in there. Looks pretty simple. Want to make sure that we get some tape on it. Now, and you want to make sure that it goes on in the right direction. So that way it doesn't just come off. Then I'll pull a couple layers real tight on here. Rip it. And then we're going to get this put in the pot. And while I'm doing this, I'll explain to you guys what I have done till this point. I basically took out the... Um, what they call the paint outlet valve. I took that out and I basically put tape on all the threads to make sure it wouldn't leak. I did the same thing on the air inlet and I also did the same thing over here on the outlet, the one that you're supposed to use to drain it, but all I need this for is in and out. So the air inlet, I left the way it was. And the paint outlet will just be what I'm going to use to release the pressure. So we want to make sure that we get this good and tight. We don't want it to leak at all. Because if you're making this into a pressure pot, you want it to have pressure. Alright, so next thing we're going to do, I'll show you what I have over here. As you can see, I put tape on that because that was a little bit loose. I put a new... A uh, quarter inch fitting up there, so that's where we plug our airline in. These two ball valves, I could take them off, but I didn't really see the need to. So there was an elbow up here that was threaded on both ends. So I just took that out, put this in. And here was where the you had that real big mixing handle unit. I took that out. I put a 5 8 bolt in there. I have a um, neoprene washer. And I also have a metal washer to make sure it seats very well. And then over here, I made sure that I just got tape on everything because this is going to be what I use to release the pressure. 
So we have an in, we have an out, we have seals. So that's all we should need. I'm going to go ahead and get this brought up to pressure. And once again, guys, if you're going to be using it for this reason, do not exceed the recommended pressure for the pot that you have. So that being said, I'm going to turn my compressor on. And once I get my compressor filled up and get the tank filled up, we'll check to see if we have any leaks. So we'll be back in a second. Hey guys, how are you? We're back. It's the next day. It was getting late. I didn't want to run my compressor because I, I lost track of time shooting a video. So what we're going to do today, I have the compressor built up to um, maximum pressure of that. And then we're going to connect it to this and see what we got. So I'll turn you around and show you what we have here. Um, if you look up here, this is the fill valve. Got to make sure these ball valves are closed. This is our pressure release. And then you also have our gauge right there. So what we're going to do, I'm going to connect my compressor here. You guys will be able to see the gauge, I hope. Let me actually uh, tilt you down a hair. And that should, um, I'm going to bring this up to about 45 pounds of pressure. Then I'm going to let it sit there. And then I'm going to spray soapy water on all the connections and see if we have any leaks. So here we go. Get my airline, plug it in. And we're plugged in and the compressor is probably going to kick on before it gets to 45 pounds. So sorry for the noise. We'll be able to come back once we, uh, uh, once we get up to pressure. So all I do is open this valve. It fills. So as you can see, the tank's up to pressure. I'm spraying water around all, a little bit of soap and water around. I don't see any bubbles, except for the ones that are created from the water. Let's look and see. And it looks like we're holding pressure from what I can tell. So we'll just sit here and wait a second. And to me, it looks like it's holding pressure well. So guys, that's basically, um, how this whole operation works. Um, if I was casting something, I would have that in the pot right now, and then I would leave it in there for whatever the demold time is, a little bit longer just to be safe. But as you can see, um, the adjustments that I made to make it, you know, uh, for what I wanted, um, not a paint sprayer. Um, this is gonna work out perfectly fine, and that's really all you have to do to it. Like I said, we replaced the big mixing thing in the middle. We put a 5 8 bolt. I took a lot of the connections apart and I just doped them up to make sure that they wouldn't leak. And 
that's what we got. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helps some of you um, guys and gals out about, you know, if you want to get started with resin casting or any kind of castings. Um, so if you guys don't mind, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. And get out there, get in your shop, make something. See you guys. Have a nice day.